I would call the meeting order for September 25th, 2024. We'll start with the pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, more for the second. Yeah. Rule of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. So I have to make a motion to approve the agenda. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Okay, minutes of the last meeting. I'd like to make a motion. Uh, do you have one right there? I read it, I just can't remember the date. Um, September 18th. I'd like to make a motion to approve the summer, September 18th uh, minutes. Second. John seconded. Uh, all in favor? Okay. Uh, Town Administrator, weekly update. Okay, um, first is just a clarification more for the public and minutes. Um, last week, well, we accepted a resignation from the EMA director, and I just wanted to clarify that um, his term actually only went through the end of August. So he was notifying us that um, he was not interested in pursuing it for personal reasons. Uh, so it wasn't actually a resignation. It, was more, it wasn't really a, um, a resignation. The appointment just expired. Uh, with that being said, we do need to post the job for EMA director. Um, so we'll get something put together and get that advertised. And next is to let you know that there's a public hearing on Thursday, October 3rd for Martell Estates a subdivision up on 760 Young's Ridge Road. So this is a discussion of a preliminary subdivision for a 10 lot, 10 lot subdivision, including lot line adjustments. So Thursday, October 3rd, 6 o'clock from Martell. Um, next, John has been working with the uh, York County Resilience Workshop coming up uh, with CRP, and he's got that scheduled on Thursday, October 10th from 6 to 8 at uh, here at the Town Hall. Uh, essentially, they're inviting all Acton members to attend the workshop focused on enhancing the town's resilience to climate change. So there's a variety of different topics. The um, posting is on the website, but that is Thursday, October 10th. We also have another notice. Uh, this is the open position for the firefighter. Uh, EMT paramedic is preferred. Um, the full details, including the benefits, retirements, is on the website. Looking for applications on or before October 11th. Uh, last, just to let you know that we've scheduled a public hearing for general assistance for October 9th. This is a yearly um, acceptance of the minimum and maximums that the state said that we need to adopt. We do that every year, right? Every year. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's all I have for tonight. Okay, thank you. Okay, ladies, on updates, talk. Okay, um, we've gotten a, um, I think, a final draft of a profit and loss statement, if you will budget actual statement for the town. Um, Jennifer, uh, our treasurer Lauren, and Mark. Mark Roy have been working on a variance analysis to, to identify major reasons for any significant variance in the various lines. So uh, they'll continue to work on that. And once that's complete and the audit is available, then that's something we would make available to the public. So when they look at the statement, we'll have something in writing for people to actually look at and understand what the variances are. Uh, with regard to uh, managing our cash and investment portfolio, um, yeah, I'm pleased that uh, actually Jennifer has uh, stepped forward and, uh, and really taken this on. Uh, got a call this week mm -hmm. about um, uh, normally we would just take one of the treasury bills that's rolling over, that's maturing, and roll it over into a 90-day key bill rate. But you probably have heard the Fed has reduced the interest rate by half a pound. And that's making its way into the treasury notes that we bought. So Jennifer called and said, so, you know, here's one option, here's another option, et cetera, and uh, spoke to folks at TD Bank. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got a recommendation from them, uh, and I believe the money is going to be staying in our Wisdom Tree U.S. Treasury Fund. It's like a mutual fund of, that holds just treasuries, and the rates really haven't changed. Right. Yes. No, not at all. And so we'll continue to earn something in excess of 5% for as that long country. as we can. This is going to go down uh, when we did the tax estimations. Uh, in our revenue estimations, we had predicted a drop in the interest rates, and so that was reflected in our budget. 
how quickly, how, how far it drops, nobody knows. Right. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor that. But I think that's in our current budget. But the point is, it doesn't rely, it doesn't rely on, a, on myself to do this, really, between uh, Jennifer and Lauren and Anthony. And Anthony, as said, they are really managing this. They review it with me, and I approve it all. But the, uh, the actual work is being done by Jennifer. And we're still a lot Thank higher you than that. you're welcome. We're still a lot higher than the 4.5 that we're getting at partners. So as long as we can stay above that. That's right. That's right. If we leave in the partners, we get four and a half to seven. And right now we're earning five, five and a quarter. Five point three. Five point three. Huh? Five point three. Five point three. There you go. All right. That's all I have to report. Okay. Ed. Sure. Uh, nothing on the transfer station. Nothing on animal control. Just another plug for Mary Grant for September 5th for the pumpkin carving. That's going on. October. One three. October fifth. Uh, October fifth. September. October fifth. What is today? Yes. October fifth. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. Oh, uh, October. It was. A, it was a good. Um, it was a good time. It was a good yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. October fifth. One to three. Uh, they got. They're going to have hopefully plenty of pumpkins. Uh, things for the kids. It's going to be a good time. So. I know you said you didn't have anything on the transfer station, but did you want to update them on your contract negotiations where they got that email and going to forward them as far as narrowing it down and yes. meetings uh, coming up? Yes. So as you know, I'm, I'm on the subcommittee to go over the rates and whatnot for the upcoming contract, which it doesn't come up until next June, but we're trying to get ahead of it and get the new contract in place by the end of this year. Uh, we've had several meetings. We've narrowed it down to two different companies. Uh, that have come forward with rates and uh, different things for us. One company we pushed out altogether uh, because they could not meet the quantity of trash and demo that the Tri-County towns dispose of. They could only take about half of it. So that wasn't, that wasn't a plan. So the other two companies were still narrowing it down. We've got a subcommittee meeting next Tuesday. Um, and then the following Wednesday, I think it is, or another Wednesday out. Yeah, Coming right up, it's a Wednesday night, which I won't, so I won't be here, is the uh, Tri-County meeting for the whole board, for all the, all the members. And we'll hopefully know then what company to recommend. And There's a lot of work going on behind the scenes for that. They yeah, there has been a lot of work behind the scenes. So uh, some of these companies want you know, short contracts, we want more of a longer contract mm -hmm. to try to get something we can lock into. Mm -hmm. um, they're all going to have escalators in them. We're trying to get the best escalator that we can get as far as a low percentage. Uh, so that's where we sit with, with that. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. When you, when you say long term, what do you, what do you think long term to five? Three years? years. Three to five. Three to five. Yeah. Most of these companies don't want to go five. Oh, if they do, their escalators are high. Yeah. Because they're trying to cover themselves. Definitely. So, yeah. We want the escalator down more like two to three. Yeah. So. Cool. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> Dan. Um, I met with Chief Hayat this past Monday. We kind of went over the job posting and also um, worked with him on a proposal the board had asked him. You folks, I think, got emailed it today. So just kind of followed up and made sure most of the hopefully questions that I thought you folks might have could be answered and was prepared for when he comes in to speak on that. Um, for the Recreation Committee, um, committee still looking for members if anyone's interested in joining. Um, we had some candidates who submitted resumes for the job um, at joined me today and we interviewed one of the candidates with the hope to interview the second candidate with, before next week so we can have a decision. And we did confirm it tomorrow at 6. Tomorrow at 6. Um, and then for the Conservation Forest Committee, they've um, scheduled their next meeting for next Tuesday, October 1st, as well as I just uh, so I know last week when we appointed um, a board member, we officially filled the committee, which is, I think, a good thing. I think it's the first time we've had all their seats filled since a surge of sleeves and such exciting news. And I think that is. It. Yes. Okay, great. John, I'm not going to figure you tonight, so it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you could have put up. I don't have anything. What is that noise? I'm going to back up. I'll go check it out. Go ahead. I have nothing. Okay. Oh, you got nothing? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, so killing me. <laughs> okay. Um, roads, Road Committee. I met with the Road Committee last night. It was a good meeting. It was a good meeting. Uh, of course, we have an article for, uh, we have a couple Article 43. Um, but obviously, the money's getting down to the wire there. They discussed it. Uh, we had um, a couple conversations about um, the descriptions, what was being submitted for estimates. We made some adjustments. I believe we did get some of those in today, correct? We did. Okay, great. Um, we also talked about, uh, because the funds are running out, on that, um, of how we're going to go forward. And um, what, we're, what, we're, what we're working on right now, and I believe the road committee is actually doing doing the legwork on this pretty well, is uh, they've contacted the, um, the lake associations to see if they want to get on board and uh, go that route. And uh, they, they seem to think they're going to be able to make this work. I believe they're going to make this work. And uh, in the meantime, though, they, they are concerned about the lack of funds after these, um, these applications get processed. And um, they did make a motion at the meeting last night to uh, for the, the committee to agree that uh, to see if the selectman would put forward uh, nine thousand dollars for the next coming year, but that through this year till July first, and um, nine nine thousand for the following year. No, no, for this continuing year, they're worried about from April to July first because that well you know because that's when they're going to do the work. Um, our top meeting was what March was it March or April? April. April. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I felt like you done the last. I can remember that. I'm used to it being June. You know? <laughs> so, uh, but so they're, they're concerned that uh, if three rows come in, um, in between that period of time, there will be no funds available. So, um, so I'm going to be bringing. I'm sure we'll be talking about that tonight at the special town meeting, part of our meeting. So, but I have to talk about something. So that's. Um, Ms. Brown, I have nothing tonight on that, so, uh, okay, well, we're going to jump down to department head community chair updates. Come on up, Robin. Just to let you know, the chipping's done, very good job, they're very professional and everything. Uh, I got about a half a load of uh, chips up there for anybody that would want them or they just didn't have a full truck. They didn't want to bring a full truck down for a quarter of a truck. So I told them, yeah, just, just leave it here. So. So the load by hand or? It probably go by hand or it's up to you guys how you want to. I, 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 it's not a good idea for us to be loaded. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, yeah, but. It's a sign of truck or something, but not yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. part of the contract, I, I just, take it. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I would say so. How much do you think is there? I'm going to guess, I don't know, probably three uh, or two trail, or not trail, oh, load, but triaxles. Oh, so you're talking about. Uh, That's quite a bit. Yeah, it is quite a bit. It's 46 40. yards. Yeah, yeah it's, well, it's, it's not more. I, I thought they didn't want to send the truck down because it was a partial load. This sounds like they could. No, this, they didn't want to track the trailer. They send track the trailers. Um, yeah, yeah, they, they yeah, they don't. It's 117 miles from here to there, so they didn't want to send a. Yeah. And they asked me, you know, when we get to the end, and we don't have a full truck. You want us to leave them, or? And I said, yeah, no sense sending a full that truck. Makes a well, that makes yeah, a difference. Yeah, they, they should have taken them. I mean, that was part of the contract. I mean, I mean we, we can't we can't fault them for not taking because. Well, no, if we told right. them not to. They should have taken it. They should have taken it. But you know, we, don't, we don't want we to. Always, we always did it to pass. So. I mean, it's only if it, yeah, I know, I know. In the past, there were a lot of things we weren't supposed to do. But the whole problem is, is if they come up and want to shovel them in, like we don't right. yeah. I have no problem with that. Right. So, yeah. But we, we can't be using right. the schedule no. at all for that. No. And, no. Uh, and we never have. No, no, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, uh, and we can use it for the road commission, and use it for the side. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I would, Will, would you take that stuff? Well, I was going to say, if we just want to get rid of it, if you'll load me, I'll just bring my dry axe down and 
Yeah. He he's got insurance through the yeah. town, so I, we I have no issue with that. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, um, what do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. If they're in the yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, let's just get them out of there. Yeah. For, I'm sure, sure Russ would probably blend out anyways, can't right, you? Right, yeah. You know, so, so it's really a non-issue if we're, if you, you, you get rid of those? Oh, yeah, I get rid of them. Okay. Vegan hold, vegan hold, yeah. you're just, just so, I guess I, I was out of place. So. Well, no, well, I mean, you're doing, you're doing the nice thing, you know, but at the end of the day, if there's yep. 36 yards there, then we have to try to figure out how to get rid of it, and then it kind of becomes well, a problem, Probably you know? the guy that takes the lead might take them too, I don't know. And we have a lot of people that that comes and gets them in the spring for their flower gardens and stuff. So yeah, whatever. You, yeah, yeah, I guess. Right. Well, I wouldn't vote them now. Yeah, I guess no. so. But they, I, I think next right time now. we just make them come down for the partial yeah. and just do your do their job. That's, okay. That's part of their bid, you know. Okay. No, so I, I'm I. Okay. I'm always the person that always look out for the. Well, I, 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 but you know the problem is, yeah, I'll, I, say, I, hey, I'll, I, I'll, I'll save something that ends up in my way all the time, and this and that. Right. Right. I, mean, yeah. I probably shouldn't right. have done that, yeah. you know. But probably at the end of the day, just next time. Yeah. Okay. I'll pay him to do it. Just get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. No big deal. So Will's going to take it. <sighs> Appreciate it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah obviously, if someone wants to shovel some of their truck, I have no issue with that. Yeah. At all. No, that's what normally happens during the in the spring. They don't. You know, go until spring because nobody's planting your flowers and stuff. But that's it. Cool. Thank you. Um, okay. Any more? <laughs> no, I don't see. Is any this more uh, is this back mulch suitable for erosion control? No. No. no? Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, they don't. They, they either use got stub grinding and stuff like that. This fine. stuff floats. Okay. Fine. Um, Okay, well, we're going to hold business, the whole business, we're going to go to new business, sand bits. All right, first one is from R. Pepin and Son. How many bits we got? Three or four, maybe? Oh, nice. maybe, five, maybe five. You got that big cake right up pretty good. <coughs> Well, in their defense, <laughs> in their defense, that we got so much taxes, that somebody didn't burn really open it, we did not take it out of the envelope, but so we saved it. So we thought it was, they thought it was a tax payment. Ah. <laughs> All right, our covenant sun. Matthew Pepin, twenty dollars per yard delivered. Trailers and triaxles available and available twenty four seven. Uh, holidays and weekends. You know what we paid last year? Uh, like 13, I mean, uh, yeah, like 13, yeah. All right, time back to sand bid submitted by Northeast Excavation, $17.75. Also, yes to the question regarding outside hours. Northeast Excavation, where they are? Uh, it doesn't say. This is uh, Jordan Blair's content. Uh, does that help? Does that help? Yep. Okay. Milton Mason LLC, David Zani, possibly. $12.95 per yard. Uh, yes, he's in. Oh, he's out of Cape Medic, Maine. I think that's the same one we had last year. Yeah, yeah he was the lowest bid of last year, but it was the distance. It was the distance of where he's been. Uh, is he delivered? They're delivered. Twelve ninety-five per yard delivered. Okay, so it's coming from Carol Material, All State Material Group. Okay, so eighteen dollars and four cents per yard delivered, and then he has oh, converting it to tons, thirteen dollars and eighty-eight cents, and then he's drawn in another line that says sixteen dollars and seventy-four cents washed stone, stone dust. dust per yard, approved by Will Langley. Good stuff. Twelve dollars and eighty-eight cents a ton. So I, I guess the million, of, you know, with his is everybody else washed stone dust. Or is it actual three eighths? Because we have to, you know, we've got to so make sure we're wash, we're wash stone dust in the, in the, you know. That's not the Wash eight. sand, screen sand. It's, it's just a, it's a processed material. That's all it is. It's, it's, it's comparable. 
I just want to make sure that these people have had the chance to bid on stone. Those people don't have that. None of these do? You know that? Is one cleaner than the other? Well, one may, but I don't believe they sell it. What's that? This is the, water, the, wash, the, the problem is the wash dust. I don't know if you could. I've used it. It's really, really awesome on dirt roads, but on tar roads, it's real chippy. You know, it's sharp, and it's, uh, yeah. All right, and then we have Seth McCoy coming in at $14.25 per yard. So $14.25, $18.04 if I'm going with a 3 8 inch. Milton Mason, $12.95. Northeast at $17.75. And Pepin at $20. What was that? Uh, $14.25. So the low bid is $12.95, but that's the Cape Medic. And then you've got McCoy at $14.25. And you've got Northeast at 1775, all state at 1804, and Pepin at 20. That was all of them? Landscape is depot. They're, they're, they call, they call me. Oh. Huh. Well, they're all there. Can I see Seth? First, as an example. For Cape, the Cape Netic one, was there, I heard that. The distance was one of the reasons we didn't go with the mosh. Was there any other reason? Yes, there was. There was. Remember, you couldn't get the trucks. Yeah, yeah you, only, you only add. You only add. Come on. Yeah, come on up, please. I just want because it's a fresh bed. Getting up there. Uh, yeah, you only had one truck, and I told him that probably wouldn't cut it where he was. He was coming all the way from Boston. I feel like he was pretty much almost in the corner. He also has a pit shop, but he wasn't opened up. Yeah, yet. he doesn't have anything set up in there, so he was coming, he was coming quite a distance. And he was going to. It was more of a time thing. So I mean, he was now. he was fine with it last year. I just told him to bid it just the following year for more time. So we have David. We have folders where we have like the rec director sand bid. I just want to make sure the folder before and after doesn't have anything where you made comment about the other bids. So just give me a second. Yeah, that'd be great. Just to make sure. Well, they, they typically bid every year. That's yeah, why I'm just asking. Sure. How many well, is there a time the frame when you've well, placed the call to get more material? That you expect it to arrive? Uh, anytime, like if we were to work tonight and I called them and I scheduled it, I could probably, with like, one think, within a week, we could probably start hauling. No, I'm saying, let's say in the middle of the winter. You oh, oh. Uh, usually, yeah, I've already called like, a, like a, I guess, what's your question again? <laughs> How long do they have to deliver the sand? Like in the middle of the winter time, we run yeah, out? Yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd hopefully call them, like, give them a couple of days. So the time frame's not an issue. No, I mean, the, the ones that are in here, like, I feel like they have to have really readily available. Yeah, they have to like, really like, happen. So it's six hours notice. But, yeah, but we we always call it way earlier than that. Okay. You know when, you're, when your pile's getting down. And, and usually when it's happening in the springtime, you're not calling for sand anyway. You call for salt. <laughs> you don't want to say no that one, you know. So, uh, but typically, yeah, we, we, we like to give them a weekend. We, we don't it was just no record. Yeah, I'm just curious. Well, there was a client. It's not his, but there is one. So these are the folders I was telling you about. So we just we keep them all organized. And people bring things in. Mm -hmm. CRP, it's empty. Fire department position. Marriage license and the Cascade, no bids. It's not Landscape Depot, but thank God we went and looked. Um, Curtis. Oh, yeah. Thirteen dollars and twenty cents. So that puts him right. after Milton, but before McCoy. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. want to table it for a week to look yeah, at it? Typically, what we do is we let. Yeah. You know, you're gonna go to the first three. Yeah, I want to call that Milton guy, Milton Mason guy. I'll give you copies of these. If you come in. Yeah, those sets of driving all the way to Parsons Field. You only have one truck on, right? Right. right. Same idea as last year. Yeah. But probably contact the first three, get a sand sample if possible, and can you give us a recommendation next week? Yeah, that's no problem. Awesome. Okay, we're done with that. We're down to liquor license applications. All right, so we have two. They are both um, just catering wedding events. We're going to pass them over to Tom. Oh boy. <laughs> the first one is from Atwater Holding LLC. 
Um, the event is where, Jennifer? Uh, it's the Cole yeah. reception yeah. wedding. Um, to be held on October 12th from 4 to 10 p.m. Um, they paid the fees? Yes. Okay. Uh, so everything is uh, in fine shape. I'll make a uh, motion to approve the um, alcohol um, permit uh, awarded to Atwater Holding LLC for uh, an event to be held on October 12th, 2024. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Place on the second page to sign in the bottom. Okay. Uh, can we start with the second event or you want to wait to the event? Okay, good. Uh, the second event is for a catering application for catering uh, by Above and Beyond Catering uh, located in Alfred. Uh, the event is a wedding. Um, the other tree, is that a local function? Yes. A local function. Yeah. Function. Yeah. And uh, to be held October 4th, 2024 from 4.30 to 10 p.m. Uh, fees been paid and everything? I'm sure yeah. we wouldn't have gotten it. That's so right. uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve a, uh, a liquor uh, license mm -hmm. for above and beyond catering for a wedding event on October 4th, 2024. I'll just make a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been made. All in favor? So I'll just scan them both with the new information that just came in and let you guys review them to put them on next week's agenda. Or were you looking to make a decision? I mean, I just got the other documents. Jay hasn't seen them. He did call me saying he was expecting them. I just sent them over to him probably, I don't know, maybe within an hour. Jay hasn't seen them? No, they just sent them to me and I just... So the motion they made at their meeting was to approval with... You know, with us making the decision. Oh, I thought he wanted to see those extra those documents. No, oh, okay. no, it was for us. Okay. Um, so I'm happy to I was the one that made the recommendation that we see more information out of the uh, out of the quotes. So if you want to put it after executive session, I'll bring them back out with me. I thought you we can do that. To do that. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Um, so we'll go back to that. Yeah, we'll go back to that. Thanks. Okay. Special town meeting. Okay, so we've been gathering items that we've been talking about. Um, so I just want to kind of put them all on the table and see what direction the board is going to go in. Uh, the first thing that David mentioned tonight is the $9,000. This is to replenish Article 43 just to be spent by June 30th. And as I understand it, the article would say if it's not spent by June 30th, it will dissolve back into the general fund. The whole idea is to dissolve the Article 43. So if it's not spent, that's it. It would be... Done. See, that's how you want it worded. Yeah. So you would expect to have another article for the coming year? So they're supposed to be working on yeah, another so article. They're going to stop doing it. It wouldn't be another article. Oh, oh I'm sorry. She's, like in March? The only article, the only article, we would be putting an article forward. We have to put an article forward to dissolve Article 43. Okay. Correct. I have to get an opinion on that. Okay, well, if they're not in great. I, think, I, I took it as Tom, we, more money for the following year. No. But you're so, not looking to do no, that. No, because see, what, what, we're, what we're looking to do is have any uh, <coughs> lake associations yeah. come to us as charities. That's what it, so yeah. there's nothing to be voted on. Um, so 
uh, other than dissolve in Article 43, whether or not we have to do that, or we may not well, have to. If you don't fund it, it's, it's you not probably just leave it. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Well, we can ask, that's a good question. I, I, I think it'd be better to make sure we clean house, you know, oh. and don't have it just linger around. Mm -hmm. uh, if we go another direction, which I, I do believe we can do. I guess my question, if our intention is to dissolve Article 43, do we need to put nine thousand dollars in that fund, or just let it naturally after the money runs out? Just say that's until we figure well, it out. Well, because the, it, gonna run the out problem is, is if out. nobody actually makes an application for it, it could be sitting there. You know what I mean? So it rolls over. Yeah, we can roll over. Okay. We don't want that. Okay. We'll so, so the road committee hasn't uh, done its work evaluating whether or not or how what their position would be on the Lake Association's playing a role in the future. They haven't decided that yet. Well, so actually, I, they're all for it. They all seem to be for it last night. But the thing is, is what they're doing is we're in a process right now, oh, they are, and I told them I work with them, of going to the Lake Associations. And, and of course, we've got to write up some sort of, a, we did talk about this last night, about writing up a, uh, a guideline. They have to have some sort of guideline, you know, where this money, what this money is going to be spent on, you know. Because you know, one of the, one of the uh, people on the uh, committee last night made a mention, well, people would be getting new driveways and stuff, and this and that. Mm -hmm. No, I, we we were talking, and, and what we came up with was kind of what we already have. That you know, you have to have some like AWA, your county soils, or uh, DEP. Uh, those lake associations are going to have to have that dictated. That those are spots that have been looked at by the people. And what, what, all we need is what well, what I'm asking for is once a year when they come in for the next round of monies is an audited thing saying this is where the money's, money was spent. And I think it's clean that way. Yep. So if we do a uh, uh, change the program, uh, the road <coughs> committee would actually take a vote as a recommendation to the selectmen to move in a particular direction. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so when they asked me last night, they were they were concerned about whether or not more applications come in. You know, uh, I try to lowball the number. You know, yeah. I got it. That's my job. But uh, uh, but they had a point that if three three rows come in. You know, we you know we should at least service it until the end of the year. Okay. I told them that I myself as selectman will not put forward. I would not support put forward monies into that account unless we know they're working on changing this. And I think they are. So I guess my question, because it, it seems like they could in three, do they expect three? No, they could get one, they might be fine. Well, just because that was number that yeah. consistent that I didn't know that there was a particular day. Look at, if you look at the payout, I mean, I'd be surprised. If it, the, the worst case scenario is that we had three. The best case scenario is we get one, and then 6,000 it goes back into the general yeah. fund. Yeah. The roads are only allowed to apply, apply once in that fiscal year, so yeah, I can show you the report of what we paid out. So, okay. so I, right. I thought that was reasonable. We're in agreement as a board that um, $9,000 for fund Article 43 through the end of June, the money goes back in the general fund after that, and we'll add on the possibility of legally dissolving if necessary. Yeah. Okay, so that's article, that's gonna be one of them. Uh, the next one is gonna be for the purchase of a skid steer. You've already awarded the bid, so we have the number. Anything on that? Okay. Um, when Tom went over the um, budget actuals that Mark sent us, um, it's important for you to know that we, re we review these reports monthly. We send them to the Finance Committee, we send them to the department heads. At the end of June, for the first set of reports that we had, uh, the transfer station had um, a surplus of $14,000. Um, due to the billing and increased costs with some of the hauling and due to the extra loads that um, we saw over the summer, by the time all of the 23, 24 invoices were paid to the three hauling companies, and it's just the hauling companies that caused this, uh, the transfer station has now a deficit of $10,490. So one of the articles that we'll need to do is to um, ratify that, that amount at town meeting. Um, Robin and I and the treasurer sat down today and looked at all of last year's budget and all of this year's budget and said, okay, now that we know we had a shortfall last year because of the budget increase we weren't expecting and because of the increased hauls, is our current budget going to be short? If so, let's address it now. 
So we sat down and looked at that. Um, you may recall that we brought in a new transfer station employee at the beginning of the season. He helped out during the summer times. Um, it started out to be some training, but due to vacations and an injury, he stayed on about six weeks. So we're gonna have a, an area there that we're looking to recover. In addition to the transfer station rental that we've been paying at about $3,000 a month. Um, How many months of that have we had? We have had four months of that. Oh, okay. So the employee um, between the two were at about $23,000 before the hauling increase that we've seen. Mm -hmm. So before next Wednesday, Rob and I will have a number that we can easily explain how we got to and an article that's going to do two things in one. A, you know, uh, ratify that negative uh, that was out of the town's control because of the hauling costs. I mean, the option, the other option would have been to shut the transfer station down. Um, and then to put a little bit more in it to get us through this fiscal year. So that will be the next article on its own. There's still some additional work to be done on finalizing those numbers for last There's year. There's a possibility, correct. We're not, there's still some additional audit to be done yes. on fiscal year 24 transfer station yes. expenses. So we're not certain that we have that deficit. That's, right. That's where it stands today, yes. but it could change as a result yep. of that review. Um, I updated Tom as our municipal liaison. He gave us, Rob, well, I'm not going to share this with you yet. He gave us some very good points and questions to talk to Mark Roy about. So we'll do that first thing tomorrow and report back. Good. So thank you for that. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, maybe we'll come back with nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what it goes. But he had some good points I'll share with you tomorrow. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, we've been talking about the sheriff here and there and everywhere. We know that the guys went to a couple of meetings. We are currently in a contract with the sheriff's department through the end of December. It was a one-year contract, and we budgeted through June, but there has been conversation about, um, you guys met with an individual sheriff's department about maybe acting going out on their own someday. We talked about maybe Acton getting a deputy 40 hours a week. If we're going to have a special time meeting, now is the time to talk about it because you have to ask the voters. And your contract expires in December. That shop is going to already make their decisions on that part of the deck, anyways. Because yeah, well, we need to. I mean, budget season. Yeah, they're in budget season. So if we want to, if you're considering asking the voters to keep a deputy 40 hours and no longer split it, you know, 20 hours, the sooner we can tell Shapley, the better. So we should ask the voters if that's the direction of the any, board. Any uh, information from Chapley whether they have a preference for what they would do regardless of what we do? No. I mean, we. I did give when we met I with mean, the they sheriff. they're going to move to a full-time officer on their own? I don't regardless know. Regardless of you don't know I anything don't know about that. that. Okay. We, I gave them a heads up. There was some talk about new field. There was some talk about possibly them going on their own. They're really waiting to see what we do. Okay. Fair enough. Yes. The sheriff came. So that there would, be, there would be somebody else for them to partner up, partner up with. Yeah, I'm sure I know the field. Yeah, well, I knew, yeah, he did, he did make that comment, but yeah. We just see that uh, Newfield. That is their Yeah, I mean, Newfield, right, exactly. I mean, they, he's been trying to get Newfield to go three ways with us for a long time, and they've never won any problems, so we'll see what they do. So what does the board want me to draft an article? Do you want to see what the voters think? I mean, now's the time, or do you want to just stick with where we're at and budget for 20 hours. And going over what John and I have, have done with the meetings and whatnot, we're not ready yet to put, to put forward anything as far as our own department, department our own officers. Uh, we got more work to do there. It's not, a, like we keep saying, it's not a cheap endeavor. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be you know, three to 500,000. Uh, I think we need to, two things. Buy ourselves some time mm -hmm. uh, by going with our own deputy, I think. Uh, try it out for a year. That shows us exactly what it would be like to have your own deputy. Granted, it's 40 hours a week. If we owned our, had, had our own force, you'd be looking at 24 7. Right. But to get one for, for 40 hours a week would be you know, a good trial. Uh, dollar wise, right now we've got to come up with half the money. Because we already budgeted for half. Right. right. So it makes it doable. I'm sorry? You gotta come up with what? We'd have to come up with half the money to well, do all I'm that. sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah. No, I thought I heard say half a million. No, no, but the money all the time. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, we've already budgeted half the money for a twenty hour office. Right. So we just need to have another twenty. 
Um, so, yeah, no. so I it's a good idea that's good so, yeah. to see this. So I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a great way to, to, to get out feet in the water, try it, uh, see how it's gonna work. What, what have we spent? I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think it's a great idea to go forward with a, a, a full-time uh, position. Um, and if we're going to bring that forward at a special town meeting, I think that's the appropriate thing to do. Because we need to do it because the contract's going to expire in right. December, so, right? Yeah. So um, I'm not quite sure how to do this, but it would also be a great time to, uh, to talk about the direction we may go. And, and I don't know if you can do this at a town meeting, but generate some feedback from the, from the community about whether they think this is enough or they, whether there's an interest in going further. Um, it would just be great to have public input to that before we go down the road of expanding it, which, quite frankly, I think would be worthwhile looking into. Oh, I do too. But if the community doesn't want it, yeah. I guess I'd want to know that now before we did that. I don't know. I was there when they voted in the sheriff back in the day, and it was a big deal. Yeah. I mean, and two, yeah. two and a half hour discussion to spend yeah. twenty twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand then. Yeah. And then we just voted in twelve minute dollars. discussion to buy four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just if you have, but I, I don't know how many people would show up. It's just yeah. it's always uh, for something like this. Yeah. It's going to be permanent. Mm -hmm. It's going to be you know um, additional budget, and it, it, so maybe we should. Think about that and talk further about it. But I think um, we would really want to. We want to get all our eggs, you know, everything all. And I just don't know if we could do that before that meeting. I think well, this. So, I think this would tell us. This would give us an idea where the public wants to go. Yeah. You know, as far as a full-time deputy, um, we'd have to have several public hearings. Well, so you what know, and, and, and meetings. Informational meetings. Oh, if you do your own department? Yeah, department. Yeah, we've got a My question is, how much extra do we spend? Uh, we got a 70 grand that we normally spend. Mm -hmm. what, how much extra do we spend this year on extra weekends and all that? Yeah, so I mean, they were, what do we figure? They were $2,500 um, blocks, and those were four blocks. I mean, I'd have to go back and look at paper. Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. maybe, I don't know, if I said ten or 15000 at best. Yeah. Yeah. So we're up to eighty-five, yeah. ninety thousand dollars uh, <throat> So what we, we can do, and if we can have a warrant written to you by next week, um, you know, you could, we could still advertise. There's nothing that stops us from advertising a couple of public hearings that are not required. Like, let's say, your, you know, your October 9th meeting when you have your general assistance, just to discuss these topics. I mean, we've got to schedule a town meeting at the end of the month. You could always, you know, table the article. You could let it fail. You know, if you find over the next two weeks that people aren't interested, um, but we've got to call the Warren of Finance together and pick some dates. You know, that's and then we can, like I said, we can say, you know, we're contemplating or considering a special time meeting these subjects and bring people in. So, I guess the other question is, is the uh, the new cop car that he wants to buy? When does that have to be purchased? I, I believe it's going to be. It would be part of this article. Okay, so. Well, I mean, we, no, we could appropriate it in March, April. We can deal with it in yes. March, April. Okay. They, they also told us it's going to be a while because they don't just have them. Right. They, would, they would provide us with a car until we could get our own. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to charge us for that, or what's the deal? Oh, imagine, yeah. yeah. I think we need to uh, we'll get understand what that, that is. is. So we before we leave the weapon, we just put a thing on top of the magnet. <laughs> No, I, I just think we need to know what the yeah, it, but what they're expecting. What the sheriff said was, you know, the cars are are months out to actually get your own new car. In the meantime, they have a couple of spares. So we actually buy it through them. Yes. I think we buy it through yes, them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, they buy the car. We reimburse them basically. Uh, they oh, okay. But they they're involved in. Oh, they yeah. They send yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah, they get they, yeah. <laughs> they, they have a contract. Wait, he, they, but they would plan on buying one anyways, right? They well, should yeah. be already on order. Uh, right. You would hope so, yes. But Maybe if we, for the next meeting, if, if we, we can find out ways. what's going on with the car. And I'm a little, uh, I'm a little concerned about what the lead time is, how long we, might we be leasing. It sounds like we'd lease a car or rent a car from the sheriff. 
He really didn't say yeah, the like, cease. I he, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I was just saying. He just he said, said, he just said no, no, no. I thought he would provide us a car until we got. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, but he didn't well, we say. we still have the other cars to run, so we'll have to figure right. something out. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. I thought it was going to be that too. Yeah, it could be. It could be the car we have now. I mean, because it's, it's like enterprise saying, okay. we'll provide your car. I'll get some information. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, you know it. Yeah. So, so I guess the question, the question of the board really that we need to know leading into tonight's meeting is, we need to pick a date for the special town meeting, and do you want to have an informational night where, you know, notify the public that these items are going to be discussed? You're not required to have a public hearing because it's an open town meeting, but if you're trying to get some conversations ahead of time, that might be a good place to do it. I don't think it would hurt to have a... Like it's just a time to just an opportunity for people to come and kind of share kind of the thought process and have them ask questions before. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need many. I think one, do one the same yeah. as the uh, general assistants do it that night. Well, you know, if, if we're going to take these items up, the Warren Finance Committee will be taking them up. We will be taking them up. If we put a notice on our website oh, well, we're that, that we're going to be discussing five, the police department and whatever, um, then people can come if they want. Maybe that would satisfy a public hearing. Well, I was thinking kind of the same idea is have, have a public hearing before our selectmen's meeting. It's, it's, okay, yeah. either way or just, yes. Okay. Yeah, so put it not a special meeting. Yeah. You know, no, I was yeah. going to just do it at 6 o'clock on one of your nights. Yeah. Huh? I was going to do it right at 6 o'clock on one of your regular nights. Yeah. Yeah, open up with a public hearing. Yeah, yeah. And okay. Kind of like we would do uh, yeah. small, you know, small Or we could just put it as an agenda item. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you do it as a public care, and it, it, it I think, yeah, it might yeah. bring a little bit more uh, attention. I would like so, to just make sure, like, like Tom had mentioned, or I think, I mean, Mr. Just making sure that we do advertise, like, this is what we're very clear so that people are aware that this is the meeting that we're going to be talking about. Or, do we have and a, there's one more. Do we ever put notices in the reporter of every things week. like events like this? Every, yes. Oh, okay. Every week. Fine. Yeah. And lots of, so we did John. We take all of our postings. That, that all our postings movie. get all of them go the same way. They go on the website. They go on the newsletter. They okay. go on right. Facebook. They go on the reporter. Right, John? Yes, they do. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a coyote or children, so I'm just gonna ignore. Oh, the the geese are. But I found that. We have one more. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead. I was just a little distracted by that. Did you hear it? No. <laughs> yeah. um, still hearing it. It's just the boys. I'm going to get eaten going across the parking lot tonight. So, uh, the, several, several, several months, months, months ago, the uh, Conservation Force Committee came to you and asked you if you would consider purchasing that piece of land. Uh, down next to Wilson, Wilson Mike, yeah, um, and through um, executive sessions because it's a negotiation, uh, we've had some conversations about a number, um, so that will be on the special town meeting as well. I'm not ready to release that because we're still going back and forth a little bit, but that article will be on there. So okay. the possible purchase of that you'll see on this October 9th portion. Yep. Okay. 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 Awesome. Okay, we're going to execute such to hear a motion. Can I ask a question? <coughs> Cascadia <coughs> system. Oh, that's Ben. That's what yes, I'm yeah. okay. okay. Very good. Make a motion we move into oh. executive. Can I, can I interrupt you one minute? Hold on a second. Uh, we, we, we could have public comment. Yeah, so we're, we're going to talk about uh, Just give you an update on the chicken. I called the owner, and he will send a truck down and get the rest of the chips. You got something to load it? I thought he you just get the uh, excavator still there. Oh. I oh. thought what happened to Will and what did that happen? Well I called him you after asked? you got I spoke to you and I got him to bring the truck down and Did and you want them more? No, I'm just gonna get rid of him because right. I was that 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 that's all yeah, that's why. Or you just being a good guy. Oh, right. Now you know I did a lot of you good guys in town. <laughs> tonight obviously Warren Finance has to get it together. Is it permissible to 
post our agenda. I would have to talk to, you know, our leadership. Talk about the finance committee's agenda? Yeah, what the agenda is. That way, letting people know exactly what we're going to talk about at the meeting to get more people to hear. So I have a, a call scheduled with the chair tomorrow uh, to go over all these things and we'll set the dates up. But certainly we're happy to, if the Warren Finance puts an agenda together and they want us to post it online, we're happy to post it. Okay, that um, would be good because that would just be another way of yep. having people come in. Yeah, Especially on a meeting like uh, something yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we'd like to have them at the select board meeting on the 9th. That's yeah. if we can get them all together that we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll get a post that absolutely. And I'll let her know what came up. Give her time. Thank you. That was my question. I was asking she was. Yeah, what, what, what do we, we pick a date? We we do, do we have a date? Do we see I'm just going to pick one. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. We skipped over it, so I thought that was my way of picking one. I'm shooting for, um, if I can pull it off, probably the 30th of October. Okay. The week before the election. Uh, <laughs> okay. So Any more public comment? Nope. Okay. We'll go that back to the executive session. Do we hear a motion? I move that we go into executive session MRSA 405-681 personnel at 6.55 p.m. Yeah, we made a motion. Second. Okay. Second. And second it. All in favor? Aye. I move to come out of executive session MRSA 405-681 personnel at 7.03 p.m. Dan's made the motion. Do we hear a second? Second. Dan's made a second. All in favor? Okay. Um, I guess we're going to go to, let's go to the uh, article. article 43 request. No decision being made, correct? And uh, so what are, we, what are we doing here? We got two. They're both asking for 3000 but there's only 4650 I believe. Um, I believe the recommendation is probably to split this in half with the remainders, the remainder of the, uh, the funds, and uh, between those two roads, which will like zero out the account. Mm -hmm. that, that we on the same page with that. A good idea. Or? And we'll abstain from anything because one of the roads, I believe, is a road I have property on. Okay. So the the rest of you. I guess, I'm sorry, what's the question, David? No. I, 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 I have not seen these. They don't know. Oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. You, got, you got walked out of the room with it. I thought you were. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. So, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't want done so, what we're doing is we'll make the, the, uh, the road committee made a motion to accept these. I see. Okay. There isn't enough money in the account yeah, to do them both. So, uh, I'm suggesting, and we did talk about it last night, that we split the money in half, which is uh, half. Three, of, three, I think it's forty six fifty. So if that's the case, we two thousand three hundred twenty five each. So yeah. Down there. So the, I, I make a motion that we we grant uh, Eagle Road Association and Lakeside Drives Lakeside Road Association um, their Article forty three request with and split the remainder of the uh, amount of. Forty-six fifty between the both. Second. All in favor? Okay. And I abstain. And Ed abstained. <sighs> well, let me show here. Show it to here. <laughs> <laughs> so no signatures required. No, we'll cut the so yeah. We'll right. cut the checks. And I left my agenda in there. So we are at. Uh, do I hear a motion? Yes. I move to adjourn at 7.05 p.m. Second. All in favor? 